Tomorrow is our winter quarterly. Now all of our quarterlies are significant and wonderful times, but tomorrow, this winter quarterly, is really, I think, one of the most special of the year. It's there that we talk about summer camping. It's there that we uh, talk about the regional committee leader weekend, both evaluative and moving forward planning. And more than anything, it's a time when we get to pull out of the fight that is young life in February and March and heading into the camp season and take a second to be together. I was recently watching a uh, NFL movies film about the Seahawks Super Bowl and it was interesting to watch our defensive backs that are so excellent love and care for each other. I love you boy. Sir. Sir. Love you. I love you too, E. Same old, same old. Cam, love you, boy. Let's go, bro. This is what we do. Hey, Cam, I love you. As we enter into quarterly, could we be similar? I'd encourage you to come prepared. Yeah, that means pen, paper, Bible, calendar, laptop, whatever. But I also want you to come prepared in mind and in spirit that you'd be ready to connect with people. Find somebody and say to them, I love you. We all need that connection in life. And we especially need that from brothers and sisters that we're in the battle with. Seth Godin about a year ago shared a, uh, a blog post that I've given to you. And in that he says, when, when you go to meetings, the best meetings are ones that are open, generous, and connected. Tomorrow can we op be open, generous, and connected? Open to new ideas, new way of thinking, exploring the edge, meeting that person you haven't met before. Generous, that when given the opportunity, you're ready to give other people dignity, respect, the chance to speak up, and aware that the most single effective way to move forward is to help others move forward as well. That Seth Godin thinks that's him, that's actually Acts. And then to be connected be part of the community, not a part of it, not sitting on the fringes, but entered in, hooked in to the reality and dreams that we're thinking together in Young Life of Western Washington. Tomorrow's going to be a great day. We're going to be open, connected, and generous, and I look forward to seeing you and saying to you, I love you.